of the realms, they call it. What a fine poetic name for something as rotten and twisted as our land has become. Terrible beings entered through the cracks in the tapestry of reality, arose to rule over the natives. And the river realms, now godless and vengeful, reincarnated from the ashes. Valkyrie is a game of exploration and branching narrative. It harkens back to the classical turn-based role-playing games and plunges the player into a cruel, dark, post-apocalyptic fantasy world. Vargas was born out of over 20 years of role-playing with a group of friends um, using several iterations of D&D. The many stories we played through over the years brought us a ton of joy and sent us on epic adventures. Also, the setting kept expanding to the point where we asked ourselves, shouldn't we find a way to bring this to a larger audience? And so, the concept of Vagrus was born. The Riven Realms are probably best described as post-apocalyptic dark fantasy. It used to be a more stereotypical fantasy setting, until something really bad happened. So now there are a lot of things that are unique to the world of Vagrus that set it apart, and that we brought over to the game. For instance, you have strange and atypical playable races, like the Fierce Dragonkin, humans with weird mutations called the Tainted, and even free-willed undead. Vagrus is first and foremost an RPG, with elements of strategy in the form of crew and resource management added into the mix. All aspects of gameplay are turn-based, because we believe that it is essential to this type of strategy. It's also important that you play as a leader, so you are responsible for a crew. And this feeling, uh, a group of hardy people against a cruel world, is what we were going for. As someone who has played so much in this setting, it is amazing to see it come to life in Vagrus. But this game does so much more than simply emulate tabletop RPGs. We usually divide gameplay into four main segments. The first one is exploration on a huge campaign map. There is a lot to see and find. Strange settlements. Dangerous ruins. There are a lot of mysteries to solve. Then there is the turn-based tactical combat. Combatants have their unique skills and synergies. Due to these, positioning is paramount. The third part is the strategy aspect. As a leader, you have to manage your crew and resources. You will have to trade, take on contracts, or even become a mercenary. Last but most important, Bagris is a narrative game which presents branching stories through multiple choice events and questlines. We are a small indie team, but we managed to secure funds for the base game, so this campaign is really about going faster and further. That means more content, in terms of characters, storylines and features. We've been fascinated by Fig's new open access format from the very beginning. It really resonated well with our plans for Vargas. Being able to communicate with players from, from the get-go is a great opportunity for us. It sort of reminds you uh, like uh, the way a game master and his players communicate and sort of create the story together. We are very curious to see how the community responds to our game and its unique setting. And you are a Vagras too, are you not? <laughs> <laughs>